hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in the previous video tutorial as you know that we have successfully create and display all the groups okay on our groups fragment so now in this video we will create a group chat activity so now what uh, it means that is whenever a user click on any group here that is let's say coding cafe so a user will go inside that group and he can chat uh, with any person inside that group okay just like you guys see in whatsapp group chatting okay so first we will complete the group chat and uh, as you know that later on we will move to the private chatting or you can say to the one-to-one -one chat and it will be here on our chats fragment so first we have to work on that and also uh, we have to complete the contacts list first before uh, we move to the private chat or one-to-one -one chat so first let's complete uh, this group chat so go to the Android Studio and let's uh, create a new activity. Click here new activity, empty activity. And the name of our this activity will be group chat activity. Group chat activity, click finish. And you can see our uh, new activity is created successfully. Now let's come here to the activity group chat.xml file let's go to the text and first of all change this constant layout to the relative layout and now the second thing we need is that first of all we need to include here uh, the app bar or you can say a toolbar so that we can display the uh, group name on that toolbar so first let's uh, close this and now inside here we can first give it ID we can call it as group underscore chat underscore bar layout and we have to include the layout so we can say layout and you know that it is the app bar layout if I show you then this is basically the layout which is inside this layout folder and it is the app bar layout which you created in the previous video tutorial I hope you remembered now the next thing is uh, to add a scroll view so after this uh, toolbar we can add a scroll view so you can say scroll view match parent wrap content let's give it ID to this so the ID for this will be let's call it as my scroll underscore view and this scroll view should be below this uh, group chat bar layout so what we're gonna do for that we can simply write here B E L O W below and you can see this layout below ID and we can pass this group chat bar layout ID to it now inside this scroll view we can create a linear layout should be match parent match parent and uh, orientation for it will be vertical and inside this uh, linear layout we need a text view to display the images so we can set text view match parent wrap content let's give some ID to this text view so the ID will be group chat underscore text underscore display the padding for this will be from all the side it should be 10 dp text all caps should be false text size should be 20 sp and the text for it or we cannot give any hint or text to it okay remove this but if you add then let me tell you that it will look like I mean this is just a text which we will uh, give to it but we do not want to display any text here okay because we will be displaying the messages on our this scroll view on the chat activity so that's why we are not going to give any text to it and the text color for this will be at the red android color and it should be background dark margin from the start 2dp margin and also 2dp margin 
from the bottom should be 50 dp and after so let me tell you that this is our scroll view and inside this scroll view we have a linear layout and then we have a text view to display the uh, text messages to the users now we need to add a uh, edit text and a send message button so after this scroll view uh, what we're going to do we are going to create a linear layout match parent rep content and uh, the orientation for it will be horizontal and let's give id to this so the id for this will be my linear layout and we need to give id to this linear layout because we have to display this scroll view above this uh, linear layout okay this one which we created just now so what we're gonna do here we can say above a b o v e and you can see this layout above id and paste this uh, my linear layout id to it so that it this scroll view should be above this linear layout and it should be below this uh, chat bar layout so yeah that's it now the next thing is to add edit text here so that the uh, user can type a message here so you can say edit text match parent rep content the height should be uh, rep content but the layout width should be 270 dp let's give it some id so the id will be input underscore group message underscore message and the next thing is to give it some hint so the hint for this one will be please write a message or you can say uh, write your message here whatever you want I mean the hint okay so you can say write your message here it is totally up to you whatever you uh, write here padding from all sides should be 17 dp and the next thing is to add a button so that user can click on that button and it should send a message so we can add an image button here so sorry for that change this to image button and the width should be 50 dp and it should be rep content the height now here we need to add uh, an icon for this image button to send the message so the icon is already I provide the icon in the previous tutorial if you go to the drivable folder then let me show it to you this will be the icon which is send underscore message okay I already provide the link to all these icon in the previous video tutorials I hope you remember that so we can simply write send message okay which is inside the drivable folder let's give it some ID so the ID for this will be send underscore message underscore button so yeah now let's go to the group chat activity and here on our group chat activity we have to define all these fields which we created just now so we have a first a toolbar so we can say toolbar let's call this as m toolbar then we have a image button for sending the message so we can say image button and we can call this as send message button then add a text for writing the message so we can say add a text user message input then we have a scroll view so we can say private scroll view and let's call this as m scroll view and we have a text view which is to display the messages so we can call this as first let write here text view so we can call this as display text messages now here in our on create method we can create a method by the name initialize methods sorry initialize fields so we can create uh, initialize our image button then edit text here okay so create that method and that method is created and here we can say the first one is the toolbar so we can say m toolbar toolbar oh sorry for that that is 
this first one okay toolbar and then we can save find view by id or dot id dot and the id for that is let's check it it is group chat bar layout and here you can see we got an error here for the toolbar so as you know that here you can click import and here we can see this android widget toolbar so instead of that after this android you can write dot support dot v7 dot widget dot toolbar okay and you can see the error is gone now successfully and now here we can say set support action bar m toolbar get support action get support action and we have to set a title for it so for now we can just display uh, that is group name but later on we will display the group name on which a user uh, i mean to which group a user want to enter and start chatting with his friends then we have a send message button it is an image button the id for this is send message button then we have a user message input which is added text to get the input from a user and the id for it is input group message then we have display a text message which is a text view basically to display the group message to the user so you can set text view and the id for this is group chat text display then we have m scroll view where we will display all the uh, text messages of a group to the user so it is scroll view find view the id for this is my scroll view so yeah we have created the group chat activity in this video tutorial and we have cast all these fields on our uh, this uh, group chat activity java file and if we go back to the xml file and let's click on preview then here you can see this is the preview and it should not be here it should here at the end so for that come down here and here we have this linear layout where we have this edit text and this image button so what we're gonna do for that uh, for that we can here we can say a line parent bottom to true you can see it moves below and a line parent start to true and yeah this is the layout and if you want to move this button here then here you can simply write uh, that is uh, 370 or you can say 320 okay so you can see that it moves here it is totally up to you i mean uh, whatever the layout you love or you design okay so yeah we have created the group chat activity we have designed it and we have also defined and initialized all these fields here so in the next video what we will be doing is that whenever a user click here i mean on this list view uh, or you can say on over these groups whenever, whatever the groups a user click that is let's say on coding cafe a user click then we will send the user to the group chat activity uh, alongside with the group name and inside that group a user can start chatting with each other so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now